Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is Q2 of the bi weekly contest 44 minimum number of people to teach. Uh, so, this one was tricky for me. Um, I actually had a, oh, I had the wrong answer because I did not. Um, yeah, so there's just a, t a couple of test cases. Um, and the key part about this is just looking at the constraints, um, knowing that, okay, so languages, there may be up to the N languages, which is 500. Uh, there are M people, which is up to 500 as well. So it is very intuitive uh, if you have um, experience with graph problems um, that, you know, you do M square um, possible edges. But in this case, you have to be really careful and look at the constraints further and see that the number of friendship is 500. And once you know th notice that, um, it's just it's similar to another algorithm, but it's brute force on the number of the languages and then look at every possible friendship. So that's basically the idea. Um, and then we'll go over the code real quick. Um, so which is that. Okay. So for me, I... I um, for each person, which is the index, and uh, the languages that they speak, I put it in a, I, I re did the thing so that I convert it to a set. I, I actually used a dictionary, but you could actually have a list, a, a list of sets as well. Um, and for and then for each friendship, I pre-calculate this um, so that I can see whether these these two people can communicate. If they already could communicate, then we don't have to care about them. Um, if we don't, then we have to think about them, right? And um, and for people who do not communicate, uh, which we later on, uh, we just brute force every language, um, which is okay. So we try language one, language two, language three, and we go through the friendships. And if they're not good, then we, you know, we, this is not good. Otherwise, we teach that person, we teach, both of them language if, if they don't already know it if they already know it we don't teach them if they don't know it then we teach them and then at the end uh these are the number of people that we have to teach and that's the answer um so it's way um the hard part about this is that uh there are three dimensions and we'll write them together uh and i think once you see that it becomes easier where n is you go to the number of uh languages m is you go to the number of people and let's say years, you go to the number of friendships. Um, and in a way, you can also look at M is just V. I, I would say V because um, in graphs, you know, this is a V and a Y, right? And way often, uh, like I said, oops, way often years, you go to the V square, um, or, you know, that's the worst case. But in this case, uh, you're given y, and you know that constraint is less than 500, as we talked about before. So now we're going to, so we could uh, analyze these independently. Um, here, this is just linear because we just basically take the input and we remap it. Uh, this is not a big deal. Uh, here, um, you know, this is, we have O of y loops. Uh, this one is O of, um, O of n because each set can have up to n uh, items. Uh, so then, and this is just a set in the section, which is O of n. So th this pre-processing step is at worst n times y, um, n times y pre-processing. Um, you can also just cache it, I think, if you want, like if you do it uh, previously. And then here, um, of course, we have, oh, sorry. Wow, I, I even not see, it's so easy to, Oh wait, no, this is right. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is right. Um, okay, and here again we have n languages and we have y friendship. So this is y again. So this is um, yeah. So this is actually you know as well. So this is all of y um, because yeah, this is all of, like all of these are uh, all of one operation or like. Each of these takes all of one time, skipping some caveats about hash table. So this is this loop is O of Y, and we have N of these, so this is N O of N plus Y. So the so this is um our complexity, which is O of N times Y. Um and notice that V doesn't even come into play at all for this problem, uh, which allow us to kind of get the complexity that we need to make it fast enough. Uh it's kind of really tricky and um yeah. Uh, but 
But yeah, um, let me know what you think. In terms of space, uh, I reprocess the language's input um, so that it performs faster. And you can maybe say that I also use a little bit extra space here, uh, but relatively sublinear in this, in the, um, or linear in the size of the input because uh, it's going to be all of languages, um, or all of the number of items in languages. Um, cool. Uh, that's all I have for this problem. You can watch me solve it live during the contest. Next. This is weird. Okay. It's just really hard to read this one. But and the number of languages.
Hmm. Maybe I don't understand this one. No, still well. Is that? Oh no, that's a different question. That's why. I messed this up. I thought about this bit. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did not do well on this one at all. I think I just need more sleep. Uh, and this both Q3 and Q4 were tricky. So yeah, um, don't know what else to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.